as in the previous video we have already seen the introduction of transact sql now in this video we will start implementing the code as in this video we are going to write a very basic program code using the transact sql where we will use the keywords like go begin and end so let's get started with the implementation so to start with the basic implementation of the tsql program here what i'll have to do i'll start the code with the begin and i'll finish it with the end it will be as similar as the curly braces that you do in any programming language so you can just treat them as the delimiter means which will start the and finish the limit inside which you can write whatever logical code you want so in this first program what i will do i'll just print a very basic message like welcome to tsql using this print keyword so when i will execute that here in the output you can clearly see like the message got printed so using this print command you can write whatever messages you can you want to give it to the user now if i want to delete some variable in order to store the value i can do that using this declare keyword make sure whenever you want to define a variable which you want to bind some value you will have to start with add the rate symbol all the local variables means the variables which you will create for your purpose will be defined with the add the rate in the prefix sql server do provide some global variables that begins with double add the rate so that we will cover later as per the particular topic but for this particular thing what i have done is i have used this declare keyword name of my variable is like var add with add the rate symbol and here is the data type the data types will be remaining same as we have covered in the earlier in the sql all right now when i want to assign any value to this variable i can go for the set keyword so as here you can see set variable name and then after you can put any value like here i am assigning it 100 and like earlier i did using this print i can print any value so when i will execute this it will show me the value which i have assigned rather than using this set keyword for assigning the value if you can if you want to initialize the variable in line you can do that as well right like this all right so int is equal to 200 so whichever variable you are defining here will be initialized with this specific value so now if i will execute you will see the 200 in the output similarly you can also initialize multiple variables like the same way where care numeric using the set keyword you can assign the value and then you can print them like here i have declared two variables assigned two variables and then printed the two variables but if i want to print this thing in a same line in a single line like name and salary in the same line i will have to concatenate these two things like here what i want is after the name i want to print the earns as a literal string with the salary for example anadi earns 5000 all right so when i will execute this i will get an error like error converting data type varchar to numeric all right so what i did here basically this is a varchar this again is a varchar but here i'm concatenating a numeric value as the varchar which is not possible implicitly in sql server so for doing that what i will have to do i will use this cast function and here using this cast at the rate as varchar so it will simply cast this sal variable as the varchar and now the message will be printed but so far we are just assigning the value manually suppose if i want to retrieve these values means the values which i want to assign to these variables from any table yes i can do that as well for that i'll have to write a query and here it's all what we wanted 
So here, as you can see, I have defined the same couple of variables, name and cell. But now here, I've used this select statement for assigning the value. So I have the TBL employees table in which I will find first name and salary column. So in order to assign the value, I'll just add these variables names along with the equals to. So at the name equals to, at sal equals to, first name and salary respectively. From TBL employees and rest of the syntax is going to be as same. So there is an employee 105 which a particular name and salary which is being assigned now to this variables and now I'll be able to print that. So let's execute and here you can see Tom earns 20,000. All right, let me incre increase the font size. Yep, now you can see clearly Tom earns 20,000. So this is how you can uh, retrieve the value for assigning the values in the variable from the table.